If you are an electronics enthusiast like me, then you might have used MOSFET in a half bridge or a full bridge configuration for your project. If you check the data sheet of a typical MOSFET, you can see the total gate charge figure. So, if we calculate the drive current as Q dot over T on, assuming T on to be 1% of the switching frequency of 30 kHz, we will get a turn on time of 333 nanoseconds, resulting in a drive current of 189 mA. For a microcontroller like Atmega 328P, the maximum drive capability is 40 mA. Secondly, when an N-channel MOSFET used as a high side switch, it can't be driven directly because of its floating source. So that's why we need a gate driver ICs like IR2110. Let's see how the bootstrapping circuitry of a typical MOSFET gate driver works. In step 1, the low side MOSFET is turned on and the bootstrap capacitor C-boot charges up slowly to the supply voltage through the bootstrap diode. Now both the high side and the low side MOSFETs are in off state. This dead time is introduced to avoid a short circuit from 12V to ground. At this point, C-boot is fully charged to 12V and is ready to drive the high side switch. With the low side MOSFET still off, the driver now uses the voltage across the bootstrap capacitor to turn on the high side MOSFET and the C-boot discharges slightly as it applies the VGS across the MOSFET. Again, both the MOSFETs are off, introducing an appropriate dead time. At last, the low side MOSFET turns on again, recharging the C-boot to 12V through the bootstrap diode and the cycle repeats. So next time you see a high side MOSFET switching cleanly, you know the bootstrap circuit is doing its job. If you are enjoying this short video, smash the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.